welcome to my video and welcome to my channel mathematics simplex now just to remind you my name is trisha morris and i am here to follow up on logarithms but before i start the video don't forget to subscribe and watch all my videos you'll be able to see everything that is uploaded and as i've stated my aim is to make maths more simpler now i'm continuing with one law that students keep forgetting that when i have log base x a equal r i can rewrite it in another form called the exponential form and the exponential forms means that i am no longer going to see log symbol but i'm going to see an exponential symbol meaning two to the something three to the something you know those things that has a power that's what we mean so if i have this this x is the base of the log it becomes the base for the exponential the exponential form and the r it becomes the power and it's equal to a so for example if i have log 3 r equal 2 then rewriting it in exponential form i will have 3 to the power 2 equal r because remember this is the base the 2 becomes a power and it's equal to r now we have log 3 5 2 equal L. And if I want to write this in exponential form, then I will have 5 to the power L equal 2. Now, we can also move from exponential form to logarithmic form. So if I have, say, 3 to the power p equal 5 we can rewrite this in log form so the first thing i'll have is my log then the base is 3 so the base of the log is still 3 then i'll have the number 5 beside it and then the power goes over the equal sign so if i have 4 to the power see 9 equal f then rewriting it in log form i'll have log my base is 4 then i'll have f beside the log and it's equal to 9 now let me do an activity where we need to simplify using the rule that we have here So let me erase this. Now say for example, I have log nine, three. And I ask you to simplify this. We can apply what we know that we can change log to exponential form. So I include an unknown, let the unknown be x. Then rewriting it as exponential form, I'll have it as 3 equal 9 to the x. Now we know from indices that we can make the base be the same. So to make the base be the same, I will change the base so it becomes, so I have this as 3 to the 1, so I haven't done anything to that, 3. And the 9 now becomes 3 squared, so it becomes 3 to the 2x. And we know from indices that once the bases are the same, we can drop the base and equate the powers to be equal. So we have 1 equal 
2x, then divide both sides by 2. So x is equal to a half. There we go. So simplifying, we say log 3, 9 is equal to a half. Now, we can also use another rule to solve this. And this rule is called the change of base formula. And I'm going to write it on the screen. So the change of base formula is just saying we can change the base A to any base that we desire. So we have log in the numerator and log in the denominator. And C represents the base that we want. Then we put the B in the numerator and then A in the denominator. So this is called the change of base formula where C represents the base I want. While we have B in the numerator and A in the denominator. Now, we are going to do the same question I'm just clearing to show that we're still going to have a half. So let's apply the change of base formula to log 9, 3. So the base that I'll use is base 10 because we're acquainted to base 10 and it is on our calculator. So I have log base 10, 3 over log base 10, 9. Now, some persons would enter this as is in their calculator, and you should right away get a half or 0 0.5. But if we don't have any calculator, we can go further. So remember, change of base, write the base. So C represents a 10. Then we have the 3 in the numerator and the 9 in the denominator. So if we don't have a calculator to enter log base 10, 3 divided by log base, well, we don't have to have base 10 because our calculator is already, is already able to read base 10. Now, if you don't have a calculator, what you're going to do, you're going to change a 9. So let me write back my numerator. So I have log base 10, 3 over log base 10, 9, which is the same thing as 3 squared. Now, based on our previous video, we know that we can put the 2 in front. So I have log base 10, 3. And once you're used to this, you don't have to write base 10 because when you're seeing something say log, it means that it is log base 10. But for in teaching purpose, I am going to have log base 10, 3. Now, here we have the next part. I'm going to have log base 10, 3, and then the 2 in front. Now what you can do, you can put a one in front here because we're going to do some cancellation. These two cancel. So what we're left with is one in the numerator and two in the denominator, which is the same answer as what we had before. So hopefully this video is able to, you're able to have a better understanding of logs. And before I end this video, I am going to write natural logs. Just remember that ln is the same thing as log base e. So if you see log base e, e, we know that it's one because remember the log rule that I had in the previous video when you see log base x, x, this rule says it is one. So it means that when I see ln e, the value is one. 
So if I give you, um, if I give you ln e squared, then it means that I can bring the point from, because ln is the same rule as log. So you bring the point from, so I have two ln e, then we know that ln e is one. So this is two times one to give me two. So here my answer is two. Also, if I have ln square root of e, it is the same thing as ln e to the half. Then we can carry the half in front. So you have a half ln e. And we know that ln e is one. So this is a half times one to give me a half. Let's get another form. Here we have, suppose I have ln cube root of e. So it means that I will have ln e one over three because cube root is the same thing as a third. And then we carry the third in front, so you have a third ln e. And then we know that this is one, so it would be a third. So the mean in the same number that ln e is one.